Hello, folks. I am outside at the moment, just seeing what I can capture tonight. I was going to go for a galaxy, but the moon is, is over 90%, and that's crazy to do right now. So I'm going to switch to narrow brand, narrow band, and I've... I've chosen the wizard, even though it's it's kind of a big target. There's how it, that's how the first frame looks right now. It's kind of big for my SCT. It's probably going to go from top all the way to the bottom. But I'll see how it comes out. Maybe I can finish this in one evening, or in one night, that is. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's sirens going on. I'm going to get back inside. I'll check back in later. See you. Hello there. I am back again, and I'm just checking out my guiding right now, and it looks like the Toad RMS error is about 0.57, and my image scale is 0.62, so I can live with that. If it stays there for the rest of the night, that's pretty good. Um, okay, that's all I got for now. I'll, I'll be back when I've stacked a few images. Hey, I am back, and it's the next morning. I have stacked and aligned everything in PixInsight, and this is what my, my data looks like. This is my HA. As usual, it, it picks up the most data. And this is my Sulphur, and you can see somewhat of the, the Wizard Nebula. And this is my Oxygen. Unlike the Crescent, um, Oxygen didn't pick up a lot of data this time. With the Crescent Nebula, I noticed the Oxygen picked up more data than the Sulphur. But now it's the other way around, and I've, I've got a glow around the edge. Maybe um, this one had the highest ADU of, of all the filters, so maybe I'm a little overexposed. Not by much, though, I don't think, but um, it's enough because uh, once I use the Hubble palette on it, I'm pretty happy with the result, and that's what my final image actually looks like. So... I'm going to go with it. I, it's just, for just over four hours of data, uh, I, I'll, I can live with this. I kind of like it. So uh, that's what I've got. Thanks for watching. And um, stick around to the end. I made a little time-lapse video of what I go through in the morning to pack everything up. You might find it amusing. Okay, I'll see you later.